It's your favourite grumpy wannabe photographer guy here with another episode. I'm here in Sedba. It's about 6.45 in the morning and I've recently got into camping and I think I just can't sleep so I thought I might as well go out try and catch the sunrise on this beautiful overcast day. I've got my Pentax K1000 with me without the strap because I forgot it and I'm shooting a expired roll uh, which is called Lucky Colour Super 100. It expired in 2012 so I'm probably going to shoot it one stop less, maybe even two stops. I'll let you know when I make that decision. <laughs> but yeah, this, uh, this Super 100 is a Chinese brand. Um, it's a colour negative film, 35mm. Uh, apparently it says 12 exposures. I've never seen a film roll with 12 exposures, so that's like... Not a lot. A bit of brief history. Lucky started in 1958, obviously in China, as it's a Chinese brand. They were quite popular, to be honest. Um, they shipped worldwide, I'm assuming, because this packaging is all in, all in English. It says made in China on it. So unfortunately, they are no longer with us because during the digital era, they were wiped out. I did read that Kodak did actually buy Lucky for like a, quite a large sum before the digital breakout came through. But unfortunately, digital has been too powerful at the time. So it was not many years after the, they purchased it that they no longer followed through with film. But I feel quite lucky, and that's funny because it's called Lucky, to have a roll of this. So let's shoot it around this house, which is called Pepper Pot, and maybe a little bit later, um, if the sun comes out. So just enjoy this. So, as you can tell, as long as you don't have eyes like Stevie Wonder, some of these photographs are purple. This is how they came back from the lab. Uh, this is how they were scanned in. This is how they look. So I've kind of tried to edit them just a little bit. Then it's like, am I defeating the purpose of actually shooting expired film? But it is what it is. So I'm just going to play the rest of the video with whatever I did in Lightroom to try and color grade them. I'm not very good at it. I'm sure you guys don't really care that much. And guess what? Neither do I. That's the fun of expired film. going to be the money shot. In fact, it's going to be that good, I'm going to take these off. <laughs> F***ed up. <laughs> so I set the ISO at 25, just if you're all wanting to know. And I know the rule of thumb is one stop of light every decade, your roll has been expired. And as mine ex expired in 2012, technically I should only be doing one stop. But because I'm a rebel and I don't give a fuck, I'm gonna do what I want. I could definitely regret that, but hey, YOLO, isn't it? You only live once. typical that the sun comes out as I'm leaving. I actually couldn't get like any green into this photo at all so I then started to like the purple and then I just thought I'm what am I doing like 
this video that I'm making wasn't even going to be a video because the photos were that bad. But yeah, so I kind of put the purple back in. But also I guess I could have just like turned them all black and white. And then not moaned about all of this. Well, the moral of the story is film photography is not perfect. Neither are you. So get your head out your ass. <laughs> I found a, uh, so I found a cute little river, so might as well shoot the river. Things you do for those angles, my body's twisted. So I think I've taken 11 shots. Um, I'm gonna go back to the campsite now, and I think my last shot, fingers crossed, will be of my campsite, and then we'll see. Uh, We'll see if it is and see if it isn't. Yeah, there's nothing to review in this film roll. It's an expired film roll, so this is more of an experience. If I'm gonna be honest, I've been having a bit of trouble with my mental health and always coming out in nature and just getting away from everything by myself always kind of helps. So I appreciate all the love and support that you guys have given me through watching my YouTube videos. I'm sorry I'm not as regular. I'm a video editor in my real life, so I, uh, kind of get tired and exhausted, but if anyone ever needs to chat, to talk about mental health or anything, please feel free to get in touch. I'm always happy to talk about anything and support anyone because I think it's really important. So thanks for watching my videos um, and enjoy me not falling in this river. Fingers crossed. the last frame or not. And that is the end. <laughs>